It's 98.7 KISS. Welcome to KISS Scene After Dark. Friday night, baby. It's Friday night. I'm sweating and I'm smiling. And who can ask for two better elements? Mm -hmm. Why, fellas, I have the lady who <laughs> you, we all love. Vivica A. Fox, welcome to Kissing After Dark. Thank you, Lanny. Thank you for coming. You're welcome, you're welcome. And you're not sweating, you're glistening. Uh, is that what you call yes, it? Yes, okay. exactly. Right. Just, it's your natural, aura. you know, yeah, aura just <laughs> popping out. It is so good to see you. Thank you very much. I've been wanting to uh, sit down with you for quite some time, and I, I, we know that you're in town this weekend yes. for It's Cheaper to Keep Her. Yes. A stage play that has been traveling around the country, and her husband in the play... <laughs> is uh, that big head boy by the name of Brian McKnight. Yes. Uh, a, a good buddy of mine. The balladeer, uh, yes, Brian McKnight. Is. And you're a woman who loves music. Yes, I do. So you must get great joy out of uh, hearing him serenade or plead, I don't know which it is, every night on stage with you. Right? It is such a wonderful experience, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let me tell you why. Okay. Because today, uh, music, everything is so computer generated. Yeah. And Brian can bust notes a cappella. Effortlessly. I mean, and when I'm telling you every night he sings some of the songs a different way, yeah. that it just brings joy to my heart. Um, there's one song at the end of the play that every night, without fail, it just it opens my heart. It makes me so proud that we're on stage and we're doing such a wonderful production together. Yeah. Um, because I'm co-producing this with Jakarius Johnson as oh, well yeah. as starring in it. I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. And there's one song at the at the end that when I look at Brian, he disappears and he turns into um, Nat King Cole to me. Yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's strange because Nat King Cole was one of my favorite really? artists growing up. I used to just love his voice yep. and really enjoy listening to him sing and you know he was just so handsome and chocolate and just I'm <laughs> telling you. So for me as an actor like sometimes you have to have things that bring about emotions yeah. that I, that that moment for me it's like wow this is what it would be like for Nat King Cole to have sung to me and you know I've told Brian on countless occasions as a matter of fact it's even come up on a few occasions mm -hmm. about him possibly betraying the life oh, of yeah. Nat King Cole oh. I, I think he would do an excellent job that's such a great great role for him that's perfect casting and Brian I think uh, Vivica Fox should definitely uh, produce it absolutely <laughs> uh, you know what Look, and I'm going to start working consultant. on that right now you know, you know what I'm saying, saying? Exactly. right boom we're Vivica finding Fox, us both baby, up a job <laughs> producing the new Brian, uh, Brian McKnight film as starring Nat King Cole Nat King Cole wow exactly. that would that's be behind. awesome we're going to talk about it's cheaper to keep her, but well, let's get into some more music. Yes. I know you love music. It's Friday night. The weekend is here, and I know you can't stay very long because you got to get to the stage. So, it's 98.7, baby. It's KISS FM. Kissing After Dark, baby. Friday night. Vivica Fox with us tonight to cap off the week. I can't ask for a better company. I can't ask for better company. I, I concur, brother. I, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I gave her one of my love boxes, and I, I told her, don't judge me. Uh, I never know what's in the love box in totality, but I hope it's some items that you might be able to uh, engage in and play with. Absolutely. And have some with, Can I know? tell them what's in my love please box? Do, please do. Well, in the love box, which, uh, you know, my little gift here, pretty <laughs> red box of that, um, there was a beautiful soy candle in there, soy candle. some rubbing oil. Um, there was some love dice things so for you can play it with your partner. You gotta be playing. Hey, you know, gotta gotta keep it keep it exciting in the bedroom, y'all. Right. And then I had a wonderful um, t shirt. And it wasn't a t-shirt. What, what do you call it? White beater. Oh, yeah. With I love kissing after dark with Lenny Green. That was very nice. And a towel for when I'm up in the gym working on my fitness. Exactly. I can just, you know, pat it off with Lenny. That's what. Right. That's okay. What you gotta right there. That's it. Boom. That's what you get, ladies. That's what you get. A little love box anytime I see you. That was for nice. sure. So thank you so much. This lady, in case uh, you may have been away for a while, has been in countless films. Yes. Uh, there's one film that you were in that I had a little problem with you with. Um, but uh, <laughs> which one was off, that? I, I'm going to tell you the ones I like first. Okay. Stuttered off Independence Day. Of right? course, um, a Kill Bill was great. Thank and, you. And and the 20 others, over 20 plus. Yes. But there's one film. Two can play that game. Yes. That I had a little hard time <laughs> getting with you. It but was Battle of the Sexes I, in, in the field of love. But you have to say that, you know, Morris, I, I made sure that his character was strong, that the woman wasn't treating him like I fought for you, that, you too, just so down, you know. But you broke the brother down. Though. I had to, and he broke me down at the end, too. Yes, so, he did. And it yes, went to did. show you that yes, in love, there are really no rules. That if you want to love a person, and that sometimes you got to do a little bending and you got to give to get. But it, 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 that was one of my first starring roles, <laughs> and I'm very proud of that film, just due to the fact that 
all nationalities walk up to me and tell me how much they enjoyed to can play that game. And Will Smith taught me something years ago. He said, when you become colorless to people and they look at you for the art the and the quality of the film, then you have done your job. Well, you know, you have done your do job on countless occasions. Thank you. Uh, and you do it so eloquently. I know you do a lot of studying before you get into the roles, but I'm kind of curious to know, uh, before you accept a role, mm -hmm. what kind of elements do you look for in a character? Versatility for me, because I think uh, the one fault that some actors make is that they play the same character over and over and over. So you never get to see if they can do comedy, if yeah. they can do drama, if they can do stage, if they can host. Because the business has changed so very much in the last 10 years with the internet and reality shows that you have to figure out ways to brand yourself. Um, now what's going on with me and my career is that I'm really in the art of branding myself as a producer and the brand of Vivica Fox. I have my own wig line that's out right now. Mm. Yes, please visit visit VivicaFoxHair.com. I'm going to do that one more time. <laughs> please visit VivicaFoxHair.com. And we've got over 120 wigs, synthetic, uh, lace front, ponytails, extensions, whatever you need. And, and I love it because... Um, you know, there are a lot of people that's like, oh, what is she doing getting into that? The hair business is a billion dollar a year industry. Yes, it is. Okay? Yeah, and yes, not a is. bad business to be into. And when they call you and say, check your account tomorrow. <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> but, you know, it's about working smarter and not harder. Yes, yeah. um, I do my stage play. I love doing that. Um, we produce television shows along with my producing partner, Lita Richardson, who's my manager as well as my lawyer. Oh, great. So I got a triple threat I going on right there. That. And also... Um, I'm the voice of Angel Dynamite every Monday night on the Cartoon right. Network. Yeah, so I've got a lot of different things going on. Um, and I'm glad that I do so that I don't uh, become bitter because the roles, once you reach a certain age, I'm over 40 yeah. and very proud of it. Uh, look at them. Well, thank you. I work hard. I'll be up in the gym working on my fitness. I understand okay? That. I understand. And you have to figure out ways to roll with what's happening because reality t television has really limited a lot of good roles and wonderful opportunities for not only African Americans, but especially African American females. Vivica A. Fox is her name. Let's chop it up with some more music and come back and get her out of here so she can make that stage call <laughs> time. All right, I know how much of a business lady she is. It's 98.7 yes, KISS FM. 98.7 KISS, welcome back to Kissing After Dark. Um, we have Vivica A. Fox with us tonight, Friday night. The play, It's Cheaper to Keep Her, yes. is in town this weekend at the Beacon Theater. Uh, starring Brian McKnight as her husband. And we've had a couple of uh, nights last week, Miss Fox, mm -hmm. about this subject matter. Oh, okay. Is it cheaper to keep it? Now, I read a little <laughs> bit about the play. Now, see, I, 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 there's some mixed emotions. You know, Johnny Teller, back <laughs> in the day, old school. It's you know about the old keeper. It's cheaper to keep it. Now, you know, well. is it really? Because, to my understanding, the court can decide a lot of stuff. Well, it all depends on what state you get married in. Exactly. As well, too. And I'm sorry, but I'm one who totally believes in prenup. So, because I'm, I'm not... I'm right, you went, right, okay? If, she has success, if you have success, yes. just give me the paper. I'll sign it. I don't, right. I don't want yours. Well, you shouldn't. You should be marrying me because you love me. Exactly. Exactly. But, so, you know, at the end of the day, I don't feel that you deserve... I don't, I don't deserve... You don't deserve... 100%. Uh, the one, one sidebar, though, that if there's children involved, then there should be support exactly. for the child. 100%. 100%. 100%. But I don't believe that you didn't get up at 6 a.m. in the morning to go on set and work for 16 hours exactly. and, and train and do all the things that I did exactly. and sacrifice for my career over the 20 years. So why should you get half of what I've worked to build my empire with? Vivica, I have personal friends that have been railroad. Oh, wow. That's too bad. Down to the pension. Dang. Now, that's, now that's you the know the pensions. Now that's, that's not fair. That's the not pension, fair at all. This is long over by then. Dude had to leave the country because he was he was actually a citizen in Bermuda. Get out. In order to save his pension. Oh. Now, he ended up coming back to his wife, though. That's oh, the interesting well, thing about it, which, which is great. But to know that it can go to that extreme, yeah, I think it's a little bit much. Well, I just think that that's not fair. That That's why, it, you know, you hate to bring business into a marriage. But if you have established a certain amount of um, real estate, properties, and things of that nature, yeah. you got to make sure you protect yourself. Yeah. And well, I've been married before, and I had in my prenuptial a sunset clause that if we were together 20 years, at that point we probably have <laughs> obtained a lot of things together, right. then, then the prenuptial disappears. Years. But you're not going to marry me for like two, three years and think you're going to walk away. Like, what's the one-legged chick with Paul McCartney that walked away with $20 million? Exactly. What's what she doing to deserve that? Hey, 
She did. She Nothing. had a great lawyer. I could tell you that. I mean, she had a fantastic one. She had one kid. Yeah. I could have seen maybe ten, but twenty. <laughs> hey, look. I mean, that's he's the way Paul it is. McCartney. He's rich, but come on. You raped him. You oh, they Literally. gave it to him good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, so that so is it cheaper to keep her? I guess it depends on the state. That's yes, right. it, it does, and I don't think I have to tell people. Just make sure you take care of your business. I mean, do marry for love, but mm -hmm. also if you have assets, make sure you pr protect your assets. Is is. Is advice from a professional sister over here. But sister, you know what I think? Uh, marriage is a business. Yes, it is. You know, because it's two companies merging as one. Yes, but there it should start off with love. I understand. You're and right. you yeah. know, and and in life, you do want to marry someone who's who has something. I mean, you know, because you always notice sometimes you marry somebody that's beyond broke. You're gonna probably be in, be in trouble. And well, that's true love. Do that. Well, hopefully both of y'all may be at the same level. Exactly, right? window. I mean, that's what I try to 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 make sure that you know you take the time to get to know a person to make sure that they won't take you to the cleaners. How about yes. that? How about that? How about that? Miss Vivica A. Fox, catch her this weekend, y'all. And, and embrace her. I love the work that you have done, and I know you will continue to do greatness. And you stand so proud. And Thank I'm you so, so much. happy for you. You are you are a true lion. And the reason why I say oh, that yeah. is because uh, <laughs> she's born under the left side of Leo. Yes. I know a lot about Leos because my mama and my most of the ladies in my family are Leo. So I have a lot of ladies all around. So you know, they're I know how strong they're they're proudest. They're. Yes. Yeah. And, and and rightfully so. Thank you. you. Know, and you, I just want to say to all my fans, thank you guys so much for your wonderful love and support over the years. Uh, we have a show Friday night, two on Saturday, and two on Sunday at the Beacon Theater. Cheaper to keeper. It's a must see. Perfect, Fox, baby. Inside of kissing after dark. Enjoy the weekend.